Hello guys, we are here with a crucial topic, types of irrigation. Proper irrigation is the soul of agriculture. For getting a healthy crop, farmers have to irrigate their land in the right way. Here we give you complete information about different types of irrigation systems. Hi friends. Welcome to the Discover Agriculture YouTube channel. If you are not yet subscribed to our channel, please subscribe now. There are two different types of irrigation systems for agriculture as follows. That is traditional method and modern method. Now, we are explaining these two methods deeply for your understanding. Have a look. 1. Traditional irrigation. If you consider only India, data shows that over half of the labor force is occupied with different types of farming. India is one of the main exporters of oats, dry fruits, and natural grain products. India has regularly confronted obstacles such as low harvest yield, unfavorable harvests, rainstorms, and other benefits. Traditional approaches to irrigation have overcome the majority of these issues. These old irrigation strategies are not yet outdated. India's farmers utilize these techniques to guarantee appropriate seed germination, a better yield of harvests, and speedy development of food crops. Traditional irrigation is known as organic farming irrigation. There are four types of traditional irrigation systems, which are as follows. 1. Check Basin Method this strategy is an irrigation system type that relies upon water accessibility. The cultivating land is separated into various sectors associated with a small drain. Water is stored at the highest place on the land. From that point, these channels start. This type of traditional irrigation has been around for a long time. 2. Strip Irrigation Method The farming land is separated into various strips. Such strips are isolated by maid. The length of each strip relies on the land's point of slope to an area of supply. Such a technique requires minimum labor and investment. 3. Furrow Irrigation Whenever crops are filled in columns, furrow irrigation proves to be useful. It is expected to be used in cultivation. This type can prompt better irrigation of bigger pieces of land. 4. Basin Irrigation This traditional irrigation strategy isn't utilized for developing yields. A raised stage, normally made of mud or cement, is made extremely near these trees. Channels are dug with the goal can get water. 2. Modern Irrigation The strategy of artificial irrigation in areas with insufficient rainfall is known as the modern irrigation system. It is the strategy of providing water through pumps, tubes, and sprays. Irrigation is often utilized in regions where rainfall is problematic or where droughts are regular. Water is equitably scattered across the field using various irrigation system procedures. This water supply process can emerge from an assortment of sources. It includes groundwater springs or wells, surface water means of lakes, rivers or reservoirs, and treated wastewater. There are many types of modern irrigation systems, which are as follows. 1. Surface Irrigation The surface water system represents an enormous gathering of water system strategies where water is dispersed by gravity over the outer layer of the field. 2. Sprinkler Irrigation A sprinkler water system is a technique for applying irrigation system water like regular precipitation. Water circulated through lines as a rule by a pipe. It splashed out of sight through sprinklers with the goal that it separates into tiny water drops which tumble to the ground. 3. Drip Irrigation The drip irrigation system is a procedure wherein water courses through a channel into unique drip pipes with producers situated at various disperses. Water circulated through the producers straightforwardly into the soil close to the roots through a fantastic drip delivery gadget. 4. Subsurface Irrigation Subsurface irrigation systems, assigned a sub-irrigation system, include a water system to crops by applying water from underneath. 
The soil surfaced by developing channels or introducing underground tile lines or punctured pipelines. 5. Center Pivot Irrigation Water is scattered throughout the land by a machine of sprinklers that move on wheel towers in 360 degrees pattern or a circle that would move around the land and sprinkle water all over the soil and it is really efficient and effective and this procedure or system is well recommended in a lot of countries but mostly used in the USA. 6. Lateral Move Irrigation Water is scattered throughout the land evenly through a series of pipes or water lines they can either be controlled by hand which could be less effective compared to a man-made machine for sprinkling water all over the land. The sprinkles move only a recommended distance on the field and for the next land, the reconnection of the water hose is required to cover the next distance. Compared to the other irrigation systems, the lateral move irrigation system tends to be way cheaper but requires a lot of labor or manpower. 7. Rain Irrigation System Rain pipe is suitable for closely spaced crops, onion, vegetable crops, leafy vegetables, groundnut, etc. It sprays water up to 10 to 15 feet to each side. This system imitates natural rain. Rain pipe irrigation system is very economical and there are no huge costs to install the system. Crops get atmospheric nitrogen with the help of this artificial rain. Due to this, the growth of the crops gets increases and crops get natural fertilizer in the form of nitrogen. You can spray fertilizer in the entire field by applying a venturi system to the rain irrigation system. This pipe is made with HDPE fabric and it has zigzag and randomly punched holes by the laser system. 8. Fog Irrigation System these systems typically work with relatively high pressures, about 2 to 4 bar. They are used in greenhouses to reduce ambient temperature and increase relative humidity. These systems may adjust flow rates and droplet size by changing the nozzle for use according to the production needs. Regulating water pressure in the head you can accomplish the same end by adapting the application to the humidification, cooling, irrigation, an application of fertilizers or pesticides application. Manual Irrigation Water is scattered evenly around the field with the help of manual power such as labor, pipe, and watering cans. This system is very labor concentrated. Hope you like this video. Share this video with all your friends and don't forget to subscribe Discover Agriculture YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video. Have a great day.